Which of the following aqueous solutions would you expect to be the best conductor of electricity at 25 degrees Celsius? A 0.2 molarity sodium chloride aqueous solution, a 0.6 molarity acetic acid solution, a 0.25 molarity hydrochloric acid solution, or a 0.2 molarity magnesium nitrate solution. Okay, so we know that molarity represents the moles of solute dissolved, in, in this case in water, per liter of water. So to answer this question, we need to figure out which of these solutions has the highest concentration of ions. So for solution A, we know that sodium chloride is a strong electrolyte, so it's going to dissociate completely into ions. And if we're starting off with 0.2 moles of sodium chloride units per liter of water, then once this dissociates, the number of moles is going to double in terms of the number of particles in solution, right? We're going to end up having 0.4 moles of particles, and specifically ions, Na plus and Cl minus ions per liter of water. So the first solution has a ion concentration of 0.4 molarity. Okay, part B, we know that acetic acid is a weak electrolyte, meaning that the disassociation of acetic acid in water is reversible. Okay, so what we can do here is we can use a more advanced concept that we aren't going to learn about officially until later. We can reference the disassociation constant for this reversible reaction of acetic acid dissolving in water. Okay, and what this tells us is that once this reaction is at equilibrium, a very small percentage of these acetic acid molecules are going to disassociate. And so despite this higher molarity than the other solutions, fewer ions are going to be produced in solution B than the other solutions. Okay, C, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so every mole of hydrochloric acid is going to disassociate. Okay, but once the disassociation takes place, we're going to end up with double the moles of particles, which will be ions. So 0.25 times 2, we're going to have a 0.5 molarity ion concentration in solution C. Okay, now solution D, we know that magnesium nitrate is an ionic compound, so it's a strong electrolyte. Therefore, every mole of magnesium nitrate is going to disassociate completely, and each of these units we can see is going to disassociate into three ions. So the total number of moles of ion particles then is going to be 0.2 times three moles per liter of water. So part D is going to be a 0.6 molarity ion concentration. So therefore the answer is D.